How to Create Fast Forward Effect in Premiere Pro In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a beautiful speed forward. and create transitions using the speed forward effect. First, we need to add a video. For these purposes, I will use the Easy Edit Viewer plugin. It contains a huge number of graphic templates, which are sorted and organized into separate groups. The plugin is very simple and easy to use. We will leave a link to it in the description. But now we are interested in another of his possibilities. Assets tab. Collected here are GIFs, images, and video. From popular resources. To search for videos, use this column. And we immediately see a huge amount on the requested topic. For demonstration, I have selected these videos in advance using the plugin. Here you can play any video. Select the one you want and import to the timeline with the click of a button. Import. Let's add the first video to the timeline to show fast forward using its example. The same type of action is performed on it. And if we do fast forward, it looks appropriate. We choose the moment from which to start acceleration. Press the C key, razor tool, and we cut the video in this moment. And at the point where we want to end acceleration. Press the R key, rate stretch tool. And thus we change its speed. The percentage of video speed is shown here. Let's see what happened. Super. With the help of the razor tool, we can change the duration and speed of this effect. Now let's do the same effect using a different method. Its advantage is that we can make the increase in speed smooth. Double click on the track number. And with the right mouse button, click on this icon. Here are the main parameters that we can control in this zone. We are interested in speed. We choose the moment from which we start acceleration. And create a keyframe. Next, select the endpoint of acceleration. And move this line up to increase the speed in this part of the video. Now the result is the same as in the previous method, with a sharp start to acceleration. Let's add some speed to this fragment. The keys we created have two parts. Moving them apart, we see that the dynamics become smooth. Also, with the help of adjustment with this tool, you can display a smoother dynamics of speed change.
by moving these sliders, you can achieve different results. Another tool for changing video speed is the speed duration function. This shows the speed in percentage and the duration of the video. These values are interdependent. By changing one of them, the second changes automatically. There is also a very useful feature here, reverse speed. It plays the video in reverse order. We can also use it for the video rewind effect. Select the part we want to play in reverse order. Delete the extra fragment. Hold down the option key and duplicate this effect. Select the second fragment and go to the speed duration window. Choose reverse speed. And we get this effect. Now using the methods shown earlier, let's create an acceleration transition. We take two clips. We remove unnecessary parts. If you use the first method, then just cut off the parts that need to be accelerated. And using the rate stretch tool, speed them up. It is necessary to accelerate by the same number of percent and we get such a transition through acceleration. You can also do it with the help of smooth acceleration. Turn on the speed display. In the first video, we create a smooth acceleration at the end. In the second video, at the beginning, we do a smooth deceleration at the usual speed. Subscribe to our channel, so as not to miss cool tutorials. You will find a link to Easy Edit Viewer under the video.
by changing the positions of the keys, we will get different results. Thanks for watching.